Weather First with meteorologist Joshua Rivas. All righty, a good Saturday evening, everybody. Hope you're enjoying the closeout to your Saturday. Give me for your Sunday. Unfortunately, we're going to continue the gloomy trend. Although it's cooler, that's kind of some welcome news. The clouds are really just putting a damper on this weekend, and then the rain is going to really put a damper on your outdoor plans for your Sunday. It'll be chilly and drier as we start off the work week, though, and a little bit more seasonable. The satellite imagery this evening is showing a lot of clouds across the area as we have a little bit of support from the upper levels in the jet stream, and then we have a surface disturbance trying to form along the tail end of the front that moved through this morning. So we'll see the clouds overnight tonight throughout the day tomorrow, except we're going to mix in some showers. Now for the waters, small craft should exercise caution. If you do go out there, really I would just advise just to have some indoor plans planned. Seas 2 to 4 feet, northeast wind gusty at times, 65 degrees, pretty cool. Same thing for the beaches, surf 2 to 4 feet. Then the sunset time is technically 549, but I think we'll be seeing some showers around that time. Water temperature 77, but that will likely come down as we end the weekend. The moisture content is pretty high for Sunday. So again, we'll be seeing periods of rain throughout the day, maybe some heavy rainfall mixed in there. Best chance of that is going to be across our northern sections is what it currently looks like right now. But most of us will be seeing a lot of clouds and periods of rain. Trough digging out, but it will leave as we go into the first half of the work week. Then we'll see the jet stream. Looks like that subtropical jet stream finally shaping up across the south. And that's usually what we do expect in the El Nino type of year. So kind of more typical of an El Nino year we're looking at. And basically what that means is once we lose the drying trend the first half of the work week, we'll have a, just periods or days uh, mixed in there with clouds and even some showers mixed in with there as the jet stream just streams across our area. Temperatures and to get more seasonable as we start off the work week, some 30s across the Panhandle and some upper 40s across our inland areas. Now for tonight, not seeing the 40s just yet, but it will be chilly across our northern zones in the upper 50s and into the low 60s the further south to go an isolated shower possible, but the higher rain chance is going to be on Sunday. A really cloudy, cool, damp type of day. So really, the day is going to be one of those days to be watching a movie, play a game with your family, do something indoors, or if you want to catch up on some sleep, that's also a good idea as well. I would enjoy that. The 70 forecast, we're looking at the rain chance to decrease on the day on Monday. Rain really the best chance of being in the early morning hours. Then more seasonable as we go Monday, Tuesday, maybe even to Wednesday, but warming up as we go Wednesday into Thursday. Breezy as well as the trough leaves. And then as we go into the latter half of the period, again, that's what I'm talking about, the jet stream. We're seeing the clouds come back into play and maybe even a few showers. All right, another web weather updates coming up Sunday morning.